everyone this is a video um, that I'm going to do my best to describe what signaling is uh, when you are a targeted individual when long drawn out street theater skits are presented into your life and um, harm is done to you period uh, psychological harm physical harm uh, all type financial harm all types of different things so if you're new to my channel I'm what's called a targeted individual I was put on some kind of watch list at some time I'm thinking somewhere around 2012 2013 uh, when I was still in the military I was uncovering a lot of corruption I was calling out President Obama and uh, Janet Yellen, the Federal Reserve, talking about some things that didn't make sense, and uh, st things got really weird in my life. So I've been documenting and reporting what's been going on in my life for just about three years now. Actually, almost exactly three years. It started in November of 2017, and uh, I haven't been doing a lot of this type of documenting and explaining these type of scenarios recently I've been just trying to do my best to enjoy my life been in a good mood over you know the last couple weeks trying to ignore all of this stuff the best I can and um, just try to enjoy some of my life and the people that run these programs hate that they hate it that, it, that you are finding a way to enjoy your life uh, they want this is this is like a slow kill or what they call no touch torture program uh, Just go back to my old videos. I won't sit here and explain all of that all day. What I want to do is Show uh, This cult type signaling we'll call it, just call it deep state Signaling uh, when they do this type of thing to you they signal to you and basically let you know what's going to happen. They call it fair, won't, fair warning. If you've ever heard, of, heard the term fair warning, uh, it goes way back. It's the Pharaoh's warning. So we'll just start uh, from me leaving my house right here. Now as I'm leaving my house, notice this car right here does not have a bumper. We'll start the video. As I'm leaving my house, at the moment I'm leaving my house, there's a flatbed tow truck, white and red. White truck, red car. They use the white and red signaling a lot. And now notice that car that just uh, drives by, has bars on it, AT&T car. Bars like a prison, so does this one. First net. The reason I'm showing these two cars. All right, notice this truck here as I get into the turn lane. They drive over the double yellow line into my lane. And then they're always trying to impede your progress or squeeze you in. So here we have this car pulling in with the tail sticking out, got to go around them. Now I paused this, let's see, I'm going to pause this right now at this intersection. I wish I would have aimed the camera over to, to the right over here. Uh, there was a yellow car with about half of its bumper missing and some parts falling off of it. Uh, that's part of the signaling, so again we have the white car red car here and I've done uh, tweets about this my Twitter is at Michael Barden a M I C H A E L B A R D E N the number eight I've, I've done tweets about this about the white and red car signaling and I've shown it in news reports and different incidents all over uh, in my own personal life where they will use this type of signaling to let you know basically or to signal to um, the other people that are watching news reports, etc., that know that, hey, that was a street theater um, skit and that it's, uh, it's basically theater. 
All right, so unfortunately, I was not recording at the time that I bumped this car in front of me. I was driving uh, down down the street. This is Western, and the Google Maps car was in the opposite lane, and. I'm just having a good time and I turn real quick and I wave at the Google Maps car. And at that exact moment, traffic in front of me just comes to a halt. No warning, four or five cars, six cars, I don't know, in, in front of me, all just abruptly stopped. I slammed on the brakes, brakes locked up, and I barely tapped this car in front of me. Uh, so I did what you do, you pull over and you speak to the driver, you make sure they're okay. Now again, notice the white and red cars here. Okay, they're, they're always together. Ooh. Looks like we got lucky. No damage. You okay? Here, I'm just filming it real quick. I knew she was okay. I just wanted to be polite, ask if she's okay. We got a Ford Focus. Not a scratch on Not the bumper. Scratch. Oh, I'm repeating myself. Yeah, I'm scared. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. You calling the police? No, I'm my husband. Oh, okay, okay. That's fine. I don't mind if you do, but... Yeah, zero damage. I just ran into somebody. And thankfully, it was just a uh, a little fender bender. Only there was no bender in the fender, so. Okay. Looks like mine got kind of got it a little bit. So. I was waving at the uh, the Google Maps car, and there just happened to be a traffic jam right in front of me. Imagine that. So. You okay? Yeah. Why would he come? There's no damage. Because, um, I don't speak a good English. Oh, well, I'll practice on the Mias Okay. Piquito Okay, maybe Piquito English. Okay. He said he needs the insurance or something. And, um, there, there's no damage. I know, I, I really told him. What's that? Yo le dije a él, pero dice que ya vienen para acá. Para acá? What? He comes. Okay, that doesn't make any sense though. There's no damage to your vehicle. I know. All right, everybody, how you doing? Just documenting. So I was uh, driving down Western here, which is um, one of the main streets, downtown Avondale, where I go to the post office. And the, uh, the Google car was driving by. And I looked over at the Google car and I waved at him and traffic slammed on its brakes in front of me and i just barely tapped this uh this car in front of me make sure i don't get the uh the people in here so just tapped the uh the back of this car here and thankfully there was no damage so i have a youtube channel I do this for my youtube channel oh my yeah yeah it will be famous yeah everybody will see what a staged accident looks like. So thankfully there's no no damage here. You can see that. Hey, how are you? For my, my video? Yes. So it's, it's okay to go? Yeah, you can go. You go? We're good? Yeah. Okay. All right, thank you. Gracias. No Buenas problem. tardes. Here. All right. Where's your good. channel? YouTube. You want my card? Yeah. Okay. Let's see.
That's me. That's, that's my website right there. Bardin.us. Uh, journalism. Okay. Do journalism. I talk about all kinds of different things, like staged accidents and uh, all kinds of different stuff. Check it out. All right. Yeah. All right. Have a good day. All right, everybody. How you doing? Of course, I document everything. So I was just in a, a small fender bender. Uh, my fender was bended a little bit, uh, but the other car didn't have a scratch on it. No big deal. The uh, the lady that was in the car called her husband. Neither one of them spoke English very well, but no practicando mi español, so I speak piquito español. So we talked. Her husband showed up, checked out the uh, that there was no damage and uh, got him on video shaking my hand, telling me, yeah, it's no problem, go ahead. No, no need to exchange insurance. And uh, we went on our way. So my bumper's a little bit tinted, but ah, stuff happens, maybe I can fix that. But uh, it was impeccable timing. The, uh, the Google car, Google Maps car was driving by and I turned and I waved at him. I know that it's a little bit redundant. I made different video clips, so I apologize for that, but just stick with me here. At that exact second, about five or six cars just slammed on their brakes right in front of me. Impeccable timing. So that could have been a little worse than it was. I was I'm imagining that, uh, they hope that it was worse than it was, but, um, it wasn't, so I'll just go along with my day and uh, move on to the next part of life. Everybody have a great day. Okay, so if you're new to this whole situation, you, it, you haven't spent hours and hours researching targeted individuals and uh, heard other targeted individuals talk about how they've been set up in stage a staged accidents or have shown the steps of how they've been set up in staged accidents. Um, I could understand how this would sound like a person might be being paranoid. And that's how this program is set up, is to make you try to, try to, make you sound paranoid. Um, you know, these types of things do happen in life. People get in accidents, people get distracted, uh, and things happen. So that's what they want everyone to think. But these things happen over and over and over and over again. And once you've been sensitized to the standard operating procedures, the different um, types of color-coded cars that they use in these, um, these setups, you can see it from a mile away. And that's how they want the program to be. They want the targeted individual to be able to identify who, who is covertly attacking them and setting them up. And they want them to act out in aggression. They want them to yell at somebody, get them on camera, yelling at somebody, harming someone, um, just losing it, which you know a lot of people have because they're being attacked and they're trying to ask for help. You, you go to the police, they won't help you. you. You call the FBI, they won't help you. You call Department of Homeland Security, you call anybody you want and nobody will acknowledge that this is happening. Well, until recently, actually, a police captain, captain in Richmond, California, sat down with a group of targeted individuals and uh, listened to them and took a bunch of notes. Um, there are a bunch of different things that are being proven. Uh, give you three things real quick. Uh, people said that gang stalking, which this is part of gang stalking, uh, did not exist. That anyone that thinks they're being gang stalked is delusional. Uh, seven eBay executives have recently been arrested for gang stalking. Uh, in this program, they use fake license plates to sensitize and to antagonize the targeted individual and people would say, oh, who's taking the time to put fake license plates on cars to go harass people? Well, the 
police chief and a few officers in the town right next to this town, which this is Avondale, Arizona, right here where I'm filming. It, the town next to us is called Goodyear. Uh, some of the people in that police department uh, were fired and some resigned over getting caught using fake license plates in, quote, community policing. Um, yeah, we'll just, okay, so you can, you can research that. Look it up. Look on my Twitter. Look at my other YouTube videos. I've talked about it for a while. So more and more of this will come to light and be proven. Now here's the last part of the signaling. As I arrive home, I'm coming around the roundabout at my house, and guess who just happens to show up and meet me at the roundabout? I stop real quick, grab the camera, and got this. Oh, it's another tow truck. Imagine that. Imagine that impeccable timing. So then I go home. Uh, I have to take my daughter to work, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes after I arrive home. And I get home, and as I'm leaving, there's a police cruiser pulling into my neighborhood on the street where I leave my house. So, again, hey, maybe this was an astronomical coincidence, anomaly, whatever you want to call it, that these certain vehicles showed up in certain places, bump, vehicles with bumpers missing, the uh, red and white car signaling. Maybe, maybe it's all just a coincidence, right? One day it could be. But when you document this type of thing and show the timing and repetition for three years, it's absolutely impossible that this type of thing could happen over and over and over and over again. And that's what I've done. I have over 500 YouTube videos where I've documented this. I was trained by the United States Air Force to record and document events. I was trained at the Defense Information School at Fort Meade, Maryland in photo, video, and broadcast journalism. So I was basically, not basically, my title was multimedia journalist. And, um, you know, I've been trained professionally by the greatest Air Force in the world to do this, and that's what I've been doing. These, these programs uh, that are set up are, like I said, we'll, we'll call them the deep state, uh, infiltrated FBI, CIA, Department of Homeland Security, federal, federal programs that have been installed into our society. In, into our society to cause chaos and division and fear and uh, it's been proven you know George Soros gave the Obama administration 30 million dollars in 2012 right after that watch listing guidance in the federal government was updated and right about that time a little bit after that time about a year after that time Mass shootings skyrocketed. Uh, all kinds of uh, different chaotic events for social engineering started happening. And um, we've traced all of these programs to the very top, the very top of the pyramid, we'll say, and have basically proven uh, that these have been installed into our society. And um, I've taken it upon myself because I swore an oath to the Constitution and the people of this country to protect and defend them and myself. And um, so my job, my mission has, to, um, has been to show the world these unconstitutional acts that have been inserted into our society. We'll go ahead and end this video on that note.
Research targeted individuals, organized stalking and harassment. My website is bardin.us, B-A-R-R-E-D-I-N.us. There are millions and millions and millions of things that come up when you just search Google search targeted individuals gang stalking there there's an endless amount of information out there to um, to research and if you spend enough time and effort trying to understand this uh, it's it's not that hard to do anymore everybody have a great day and I'll talk to you soon